So when you think about camping food, you're probably thinking maybe can of beans over the fire, right? Something simple like that. Mm -hmm. This morning, we are going to change your thinking. We are. We've gone high tech. Dan Snyder from Cabela's is here to show us how to make a hearty and filling meal. You can do this all Absolutely. open over the open flame. Good to have you. Indeed. Thank you. Imagine open flame right here. Yes. We'll pretend <laughs> that it's an open flame or as many people have uh, used a Dutch oven in the past. Mm -hmm. We can use charcoal briquettes and you prepare those in, uh, there's actually devices made to do that in. You can use old coffee cans, you can use a number of things, but you get your briquettes nice and hot. You wait until they are kind of that, you know, dusty gray color and they're mm -hmm. glowing. Mm -hmm. And you use tongs and move them then on top of the lid and underneath. That's why you see Dutch ovens with legs. Those are the oh. ones for camping. Gotcha. And so this and one, it's got a lip on the top too Indeed. to hold in some of those, those briquettes. And then that what, is correct. what would that equate to if you were cooking it at home? What kind of a temperature are you getting? Uh, easily 350 in that wow. ballpark. It will, I mean, 300, 350. The thing with Dutch oven that makes it so amazing is it's slow cooking and you really, I mean, you have to do something uh, short of getting struck by lightning in order to burn something in a Dutch. It, they just, they cook so well and so easy. And we talked about uh, preparing uh, cast iron. One of the things that we have to think of when we buy these, mm -hmm. some of them come pre-seasoned. And what mm -hmm. that means is the metal itself, you'll notice this one's kind of shiny. Yeah. Uh, what that is, we take uh, some type of uh, cooking oil mm -hmm. and or I mean, animal fat, that sort of thing, uh, based cooking oil product. We heat the Dutch up after we've washed it. We get it out of the box. We wash it. We put it in a, maybe your grill. If you've got one of these big grills out, mm -hmm. out on your deck or you can do it in your regular oven. Okay. Heat it up nice. You want to put a coating of, of your oil on there. And what that ha does is it seasons that metal. It absorbs in there. And makes what, it less sticky? It will absolutely make it less sticky. Over time, it will be amazing because it will, uh, it will uh, actually season all of your food. Uh, you will have the, the food itself will work into the metal as well. Over time, there's not an issue with, uh, it's almost like Teflon right. really is what well, happens. Well, this is so porous. So yes. you almost, right. wow, that is kind of warm. Indeed. It's so warm. let's talk Indeed. about though, there are, I mean, you're not going to do what I'm doing here. You're not going to use gloves like this if you're cooking no. with something like no. that. There are specific tools to keep you safe. Indeed. Okay. Like this That's one. a lid lifter. And what when a great it's, gadget. Yeah. When you've got some charcoal briquettes on there and they are red hot, you do not want to put your fingers on there. So you use a lid lifter. Uh, you use heavy gloves like that. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you protect yourself because you can get burnt pretty well. Doing All this. of these things we have laid out here, we've got your pastries, your cobblers, yes. even coffee. Can all of this be done cobbler in here? Cobbler in a Dutch oven is amazing. Amazing? Yes. It is, yes. It you is can make heavenly. You anything It in is there? heavenly. And it um, won't retain the taste of chili or whatever. No, it does not. In fact, if you uh, look back in history, you'll note that the, uh, the pioneers used a lot of cast iron when they came across the country. And the reason was simple. Mm. Uh, to maintain it was very easy, to clean it was very easy, and to cook in it was almost, like I said, impossible to really mess it up. So uh, they could cook anything in there, and it was very good, now, as you, you will find here. Using a mix for your chili? What do you have on I am. I, for this particular one, because we're talking about camping, I wanted to use something that was simple. We sell uh, the Camp Traditions chili mix. We sell several different kinds, really. But I've demoed this out in front of the store on weekends before. This is great stuff. You can always doctor it up just a little bit. It requires, oh, yes, there thank you, you. It requires a pound and a half of ground. So you want to make sure you brown that ahead of time. Can you do and, that in the Dutch oven? And, really, really absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. You want to drain your grease. Okay. And then you want to uh, mix the ingredients, as it says, six cups of, of water. Uh, you can even substitute a can of beer in there if I you like want to do that. And that really helps <laughs> with the flavor. It's really, really good when you do that. Huh. Um, what we always uh, try and think of is maybe a way to add just a little bit of something to really spice it up. Sure. And what we like to do is take uh, a half of a nice white, uh, like a medium size mm -hmm. uh, sweet onion, uh, half of a bell pepper, dice those up, put those in there. When you want all that? Yeah, let's and, do it all. Okay. Oh, uh, then when you go to serve it, mm -hmm. yeah, oh, there you go. You can okay. sprinkle some more on 
as you're doing. It's mm -hmm. just very, very nice. See, that's what we're talking about. Now, okay, there's, you can put, yeah, you got to do cheese. And if you really want to top it off well, you can do some sour cream. This is oh, great. you got this already ready to go. Look, yeah, it's amazing. I think people get into the same old habit. You get into the hot dog, hamburg, brat thing. And Absolutely. There's so much more you can do if you oh, have the right tools. Yes, indeed. Now, the other cool thing about Dutch ovens is you can stack them. And as they are cooking, they will all cook together. You can put a smaller one progressively on top of each one. Wow. You can go three high, four high. If you've ever seen some of the competitions, they have to finish it all at once. And the guy on top is usually the dessert. And then you've got your entrees and all this all the way down to the main course. I mean, it's amazing how they do that. But it doesn't take a rocket scientist to do this. I mean, you can do just two and do a, like a cobbler on top of a chili. And wow, That's it's phenomenal. That sounds fantastic. Amazing. Great stuff. Yeah, thank you. Good stuff. Yes, and you this make a mean really chili yummy. there, mister. Hey, if you want the tips on how to do this, go to gooddaycolumbus.com and click on recipes at the bottom of the page. Yes. All of Dan's suggestions are right there.